Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Today we will discuss a new topic, which is coenzymes. In this topic, you will uh, uh, study and uh, come to know what is coenzyme, what is function of coenzyme, uh, what type of coenzyme are there, and uh, what's their composition, and uh, lastly, the units for the activity of uh, enzyme, like uh, how the enzyme activity will be interpreted in terms of uh, measurable units. First of all, coenzymes. Uh, coenzymes uh, take an important role in uh, enzymatic reaction, enzymatic metabolism. And uh, overall, the protein part of the enzyme on its own is not always adequate to bring about the catalytic activity. It means that uh, uh, overall, um, the protein part or amino acid sequences, tertiary structure of uh, enzyme uh, itself or, uh, or solely or lonely uh, is not uh, adequate or uh, enough or the sufficient to carry out the catalytic activity in sense in a certain way that uh, it catalyzes a certain uh, metabolic reaction. Therefore, uh, many enzymes require certain known protein, small additional factors, and uh, they are collectively referred to as cofactors for the catalysis. It means that uh, they are uh, beneficiaries. Uh, they are the helping hands for uh, the for catalyzing uh, the enzymatic reaction or uh, uh, they are helping enzyme in a sense that uh, enzyme will uh, do its function properly. And uh, therefore, these are the non-protein uh, small molecules or the uh, they are termed as the factors and uh, as they are additionally required therefore they are called uh, the cofactors and uh, the cofactors uh, it may be of organic or the inorganic origin in its nature it means that uh, organic based uh, uh, small molecules uh, which are non-proteinous in nature, they can carry out the functions uh, for the uh, for acting as the helping hand for the enzyme or uh, acting as the cofactors, or uh, they may be of inorganic nature. And the non-protein organic, low molecular weight, and the dialyzable substances, which are associated with the enzyme function, they are known as the coenzyme. It means that for coenzyme, these are the condition, they must be non-proteinous in nature. They may be of uh, organic in nature, but their molecular weight should be lower one. And uh, they can be separated or uh, uh, they can be easily removable from the uh, enzyme. And uh, therefore, the word is used as the dialyzable substances because they are associated with the enzyme and they can be dialyzed, separated from the enzymes as well. And uh, overall, uh, these properties constitute them as the cofactors and uh, for carrying out the catalysis. And the functional enzyme uh, is referred to as the holo enzyme. 
and uh, this hollow enzyme is made up of the proteinous part which is the apoenzyme and uh, non protein part which is the coenzyme it means that uh, protein and non protein part uh, do uh, their function side by side and uh, to make overall the one functional unit and this functional unit is termed as the hollow enzyme and the term prostatic group is used when the non protein moiety is tightly bound to the enzyme and uh, as it's tightly bound to the enzyme therefore it's not easily separatable by the process of dialysis and therefore by carrying out the dialysis uh, the uh, coenzyme or the non proteinous part which become associated with the enzyme it build up such a strong interaction with the uh, proteinous part or the apoenzyme that uh, such type of the factors or coenzymes they can't be removed easily therefore for such type of the uh, factors uh the term prostatic group is used and the term activator is referred to as the inorganic cofactors like uh, calcium magnesium manganese when they become necessary to enhance the catalytic activity of enzyme it means that uh, these are the inorganic factors which are responsible for uh, carrying out the um, or enhancing the activity of the enzyme therefore they are termed as the activator they activate the enzyme and uh, it may be however be noted that some authors make no distinction between the terms like cofactors coenzyme and prostatic group and uh, they use these terminologies of uh, cofactor coenzyme prostatic group interchangeably it means that at some position uh, or at some point uh, in the book or uh, in the research paper these authors used uh, these terms interchangeably sometime they will use the uh, like for um, the coenzyme they will use the term prostatic group they can they will use the for the prostatic group which was uh, responsible for building the tight binding with the proteinous part as the cofactor it means that uh, they regard that these terms like cofactor coenzyme and the prostatic group these are like the similar terminologies next are the coenzymes are second substrate it means that uh, coenzymes are often regarded as the second substrate or the co substrate that uh, they along with the substrate they are also present in the medium or in the metabolic system since they have affinity with the enzyme and uh, which is comparable with that of the substrate it means that uh, uh, with the like uh, substrate has the affinity for the enzyme on the same grounds yes these coenzyme have also uh, affinity with the uh, substrate and uh, with the co with the enzyme therefore these coenzymes are also called as the uh, co substrate and uh, coenzyme undergo alterations during the enzymatic reaction which are later regenerated it means that coenzymes are quite flexible they are not the rigid structures and uh, therefore they can undergo certain conformational changes in their three dimensional structure and uh, therefore uh, they uh, build up the uh, potent affinity with the with their certain uh, enzyme and therefore responsible for catalyzing the uh, enzymatic reaction in a proper in a more appropriate way and therefore uh, such type of the alteration they can be regenerated when the coenzyme uh, finishes uh, or uh, completed its uh, role as the coenzyme or the cofactor and so on and this is in contrast to the substrate which is 
convert it to the product. Like uh, here we are saying that uh, these coenzymes are also treated as the co-substrate. They have also capacity to build up the affinity with the, uh, with the enzyme. And therefore, uh, mm, uh, there is a difference between the coenzyme and the substrate over here that uh, yes, a substrate can't be reversed because it has uh, been changed into the product and this product uh, can, cannot be changed into the initial substrate stage. But uh, in case of coenzyme, if there are some uh, alteration and these alteration can be regenerated, regained, and therefore, uh, uh, again, coenzyme is available for certain other uh, enzyme. And uh, therefore, these coenzyme can also be recorded or termed as the second substrate. Coenzymes participate in various uh, reactions uh, like uh, involving transfer of the atoms or the groups like uh, hydrogen, which is atom, aldehyde, which is group, keto is group, amino, acyl, methyl, carbon dioxide. It means that if there is transfer uh, of uh, some atom or the group, which is responsibility of some enzyme, then the co these uh, coenzyme or the cofactors are there uh, to helping out uh, the enzyme, and uh, therefore coenzyme play a decisive role in the enzyme function. Decisive mean important. Um, well, man uh, worth mentioning, and uh, therefore uh, these coenzyme participate in various. Uh, reaction and also you have studied a lot of uh, metabolic reaction uh, in the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, fats and nucleic acid and uh, you have gone through many enzymes and their coenzymes as well and uh, uh, these coenzymes uh, they may be from the beta complex vitamins they, like their origin is from the uh, B, uh, B complex vitamins, vitamin B complex. And uh, most of uh, the enzymes are derived from the water soluble, uh, like uh, uh, B complex vitamins. In fact, the biochemical functions of uh, B complex vitamins are exerted through their respective coenzyme. It means that uh, most of the coenzymes, they are derived from the water-soluble B-complex vitamins. And uh, the biochemical function of B-complex vitamins are uh, taken place by their respective coenzymes. And uh, in the next table, a summary of the vitamin-related coenzyme along with their function is given as like uh, here is coenzymes which are derived from the uh, B complex vitamins. Coenzyme with their abbreviation is given like TPP is important coenzyme which is thi thiamine pyrophosphate and it is derived from the vitamin which is thiamine and uh, atom or the group which is uh, transferred through the action of uh, this coenzyme is aldehyde or keto. It means that aldehyde or keto groups are better transformed uh, or the transfer from one uh, substrate or you can say from uh, one molecule to another uh, due, to the, uh, due to the activity or the participation of this coenzyme which is the thiamine pyrophosphate. And the dependent enzyme is the transketolase. Similarly, the FMN flavin mononucleotide, uh, it is derived from the riboflavin vitamin and uh, it is responsible for the transfer of the hydrogen and the electrons. And uh, for which enzyme, it's the coenzyme, it's, the, it's for the L-amino acid oxidase enzyme and other important coenzyme is the PLP pyridoxal phosphate and it is der derived from the pyridoxin 
and responsible for the transfer of amino or the keto group and uh, for which enzyme it's the coenzyme it's for the alanine trans aminase and uh, therefore from this table you can understand in a very well way that uh, yes many coenzymes are derived from the vitamins and these coenzymes are uh, taking place in important reactions or uh, they have the significance in uh, the group transfer or the atom transfer reaction and uh, there are many enzymes which are dependent on these coenzymes and uh, therefore they uh, carry out their enzymatic reaction next are the non vitamin enzymes uh, coenzymes it means that these are the coenzymes which are from the non vitamin origin and not all the coenzymes are vitamin der uh, derivatives it means that not all the coenzymes are derived from the vitamins there are some other organic substances which have no relation with the vitamins it means that they are uh, not like the vitamins they have uh, no relationship with the uh, vitamins but they function as the coenzyme and uh, they may be considered as the non vitamin coenzyme like the atp cdp udp they are not derived from the vitamins therefore they are called the non vitamin coenzymes and uh, the important non vitamin coenzymes along with their functions are given in the table on the next page as table 2 and next are the nucleotide Uh, coenzymes some of the coenzymes they possesses nitrogenous bases sugar and the phosphate like the nucleotide and therefore such coenzymes are therefore recorded as the nucleotide and uh, like the nat nicotinamine adenine dinucleotide nadp f m n f a d flavin adenine dinucleotide it means that yes they have nucleotide in their structure and coenzyme a it means that uh, we uh, go through the coenzyme which are derived from the vitamins which are have uh, uh, origin from the non vitamin species they may be uh, atp cdp udp and uh, some coenzymes have the nucleotides in their structure nitrogenous bases like sugar Uh, phosphate and the uh, nitrogenous bases and therefore they have the uh, nucleotides uh, similarities like nads and so on here are the coenzymes which are not related to the b complex vitamins like the adenosine triphosphate which is written as the adp abbreviation and uh, biochemical function is to donate phosphate adenosine adenosine monophosphate amp moieties uh, and next is the cdp which stands for the cytidine diphosphate and it required uh, in phospholipid uh, synthesis as the carrier of choline and the ethanol amine and the uh, next important one is the udp which is a uridine diphosphate and uh, it's a carrier of uh, mono sacrides like glucose galactose and it is required uh, uh, which which uh, these are are required for the glycogen synthesis and uh, therefore these are the coenzymes and uh, they are uh, written as their abbreviations and important biochemical functions uh, which they carry out next are the protein coenzymes these these are the thio uh, redoxins uh, is the protein that serves as the coenzyme for the enzyme which is the ribonucleotide reductase and uh, next are the coenzyme they don't decide enzyme specificity because enzymes are very specific in function they uh, act on the certain substrate therefore a particular coenzyme may participate in catalytic reaction along with different enzymes for example nad acts as a coenzyme for lactate dehydrogenase enzyme 
it acts as the coenzyme for the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase and in both enzymatic reaction nad is involved in the hydrogen transfer it means that for lactate dehydrogenase nad is responsible for the transfer of the hydrogen and for alcohol dehydrogenase again nad is involved or is responsible for catalyzing overall the hydrogen transfer reaction and therefore the specificity of the enzyme it is mostly dependent on the apo enzyme and not the co enzyme part it means that specificity of the enzyme is derived from the its proteinous or the tertiary structure of the proteins amino acids and not the co enzyme which is non proteinous in nature and therefore the co enzyme don't decide the enzyme specificity next are the unit of uh, enzyme activity enzymes are never expressed in terms of their concentration like um, in milligrams in micrograms but are expressed as only in terms of their activities it means that we will not say that in lab for certain reaction we have taken like such 1 mg of enzyme or 1 microgram of enzyme but we express the units of enzymatic activity uh, or we will take the enzymatic activity um, for uh, you can say showing the overall uh, enzyme uh, function and uh, various methods have been introduced for the estimation of enzyme activity and uh, these methods are for particular for the plasma enzymes the enzymes which are present in the plasma because plasma enzymes are very important for uh, depicting uh, that uh, certain disease is carrying out uh, uh, or the onset of disease is there in the body because blood sample is taken its plasma in investigation is carrying out and uh, therefore uh, these uh, various methods they have been introduced for the estimation of enzymatic activities and in fact the activities have been expressed in many ways like king armstrong units samogi units redman frankel units and the spectrometric units it means that enzymatic activities are expressed in all these units and uh, these units are no doubt older one but these units are still in practice and the uh, number next is uh, ketal and in order to maintain uniformity in the expression of enzyme activity that uh, uh, these uh, enzymatic activities uh, should be expressed throughout the world world wide in a uniform way in a uh, well accepted way and therefore the world wide enzyme commission of uh, iub international union of biochemistry has suggested uh, radical changes in it and therefore a new unit uh, for enzyme activity have been introduced which is termed as the ketal and uh, its abbreviation is used as the cat k a t and uh, this ketal in uh, is the uh, unit uh, which is used for the enzymatic activity and it is introduced Uh, throughout the world it is used throughout the world and uh, one cat or one ketal denotes or represents the conversion of one mole of substrate per second it means that if enzyme converts one mole of substrate per second it means that its activity of enzyme it's the function of enzyme that uh, it's so active that it will convert one mole of enzyme in a one second therefore it's it's it is represented as one cat it means that one cat is equal to conversion of one mole of substrate in one second into the product and activity may also be expressed as the smaller units like milliketals m cat microketals micro cat and so on like nano and smaller pico one 
and the international units which are the iu some workers prefer to use standard units or the sa units uh, of the uh, enzymatic activity and uh, therefore when sa unit uh, the international units is defined as the amount of enzyme activity that catalyzes the conversion of one micromole of substrate per minute. It means that in, uh, instead of one mole of substrate converted into one second, they have changed it into a new, uh, you can say, very understandable. Uh, unit which is the conversion of one smaller like micro mole of substrate but it's in the minute in a one minute and uh, therefore this is uh, the SI or the international unit and uh, SI units and the ketal are also interconvertible into one another and uh, Number next is uh, laboratory use of enzymatic uh, units in the clinical laboratories. However, the units, namely the ketal or the SI unit, uh, are yet to find a place. They must be, uh, it means that emphasized in the clinical laboratories, uh, which carry out the plasma serum uh, investigations and uh, by taking the blood sample, they investigate it how much amount of the enzyme is present and what type uh, of enzyme is responsible uh, for catalyzing certain reaction in terms of activity. But these uh, terms uh, like ketal and SI unit must uh, given a place or importance in the clinical laboratories as well. And uh, many investigators still use the old units in laboratories like the King of Tongue units, Samogi units, while ex expressing the activity of certain enzyme. And uh, it is therefore essential that the unit of enzyme activity, along with the normal values, be invariably stated while expressing the enzyme for the comparison. It means that if you want to do comparison between two enzymes like alcohol dehydrogenase, LDH, SGH because you are going to compare the activity of their, these enzymes. Therefore, uh, these uh, uh, essential, uh, like uh, it is essential that uh, the units of these uh, enzymes uh, must be used uh, along with their normal values because uh, for the clinical laboratory, the uh, usage of proper unit is very important one for uh, depicting or showing or representing the uh, enzymatic activity um, or uh, for uh, undergoing the estimation of certain uh, enzyme activity. For assignment, uh, uh, please uh, do this question. What type of uh, coenzymes are involved in metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats? And it identify these uh, uh, like uh, coenzymes which take part in the metabolism of carbohydrates, which take part in the metabolism of proteins and fats. First, you have to identify them and uh, then write their function, what type of function they are carrying out, what type of transfer of group they are carrying out. Uh, in the uh, metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fats, you, you will uh, find first uh, what uh, coenzymes are there, what type of coenzymes are there. First identify there and then write their uh, functions. Uh, best wishes and uh, Allah Hafiz students.